DJ Cook and his really toxic fan base. Now, I already made a video about DJ Cook, and I, I got a bit. Uh, I already made a video about him a couple days ago. Actually, actually, not even a lot a while ago. Oh, but something I did mention about him was his fan base. His fan base is extremely toxic. Uh, there are t see. DJ Cook's fan base, they're the kind of people that, uh, they see that if they even and smell someone disrespecting a YouTuber they like, they immediately he, hop on a Discord, tell them to kill themselves, or anything else like that. If you even deny anything that DJ Cook says, if you deny that Morgs is the most... If you deny that Morgs is the most scummiest person on YouTube, then you are a bad person. Because DJ Cook is a DJ Cook has a million subscribers, so of course he's right. I always get in uh, arguments like this. People tell me that just because uh, he has more subscribers than me, he, I'm outnumbered. So that means if DJ Cook answers, if I ask DJ Cook one plus that's one, and he says three. It doesn't matter if a million people agree with him. He's still wrong. DJ Cook generally thinks that that uh, that these uh that people that make like, skits for children are generally the worst things on YouTube. When there's people like Pokemon, there's people like uh that dude that kills his cats on videos, and uh. There's just, and, and Spider-Man and Elsa videos. I mean, every now and again he goes on, he goes in depth with scam videos, where the closest thing he's done to uh, cleaning up YouTube. But realistically, he doesn't. Cleaning up YouTube is like Nick Crowley, or some ordinary gamer, where they generally do something about it. Instead of hopping on a Discord to someone and telling them to make better content. That is not cleaning up YouTube. Oh, but you wouldn't be able to do any better. Just because I can't do something, that means DJ Cook can do it. Oh, wait, he has a million subscribers, so that obviously means uh, he knows how to do it. DJ Cook, he's gone so far with just, you know... Oh, so he's gone so far or with this BS that at uh, cringy videos are get uh, that watching cringy videos are cleaning up YouTube. What well, looks like the second I go onto YouTube and I accidentally watch a Morgs video, that means I'm cleaning up YouTube. Or if I accidentally click on my recommendation section for some reason, and Spider Man and Elsa are on it because I let my sister have my phone a lot. But that automatically means I'm cleaning up YouTube because I'm watching that video. Isn't that right, DJ Cook? What does he do? See, I want to ask the fans of DJ Cook. What does he do to clean up YouTube? What does he do who that it makes him stand up to all the awful YouTubers out there and he says, You are a bunch of scum and you do not deserve all the money you're making because I'm going to watch your channel and I'm going to save the day. Isn't that, is not that how he cleans up YouTube? Uh, tell me, what is the worst thing he's ever, er, what's the worst thing he's ever generally cleaned up, not talked about, uh, not warned you about, things that he generally cleaned up. He, don't bring up that stupid Tom scam because he did not do anything about that. I want you to tell me something generally a, a disgusting and disturbing that he's actually cleaned up off of YouTube. Because I would be very, very interested. So, DJ Cook, his content, like it or not, I mean, I guess it's debatable whether it's good or not. Just, he, just, he is not cleaning up YouTube and his fans are extremely toxic. Bye.